Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, this is Everyday Artist, I'm Eve, and today this is a floss tube. And I think it's floss tube number 28. I forgot to check it out, check it out. Um, this is the, uh, this is, uh, it's April, <laughs> I can't remember the date, but it is Sunday. And uh, this week, uh, it's going to be a very, very busy week for us. Um, the, uh, my mother's interment uh, in the cemetery is this week, so we have family coming in town, and my father's birthday is also this week. Um, very full week. So I was very, very busy this past week trying to get things uh, done. And I actually still have a whole lot more that I would like to get done before my brother comes because I know I, it'll be hard for me to concentrate on things. So um, let's get started. And I noticed that I have a tendency to speak too soft. So I'm going to try to speak up. <laughs> um, so I'm going to show you something first. Um, there's this bag. with the matching notions pouch that I will uh, tell you how to get. I'm giving one away, uh, the set. Um, I'll give you more information on that at the end of the video. I bought this fabric for my mother. Uh, I was going to make it for her. I was going to make her a project bag last May. For Mother's Day, yeah, she loved purple, purple flowers, um, and she really loved the bags that I make. And you know, you think you have all the time, and I just, for one reason or another, I, I, I just didn't get to it. And I decided to start working on them, and I was just having a really hard time working on them. Um, I have. Uh, fabric to make another one and a, a vinyl front one, uh, which I will be doing, um, if not this week, next week. Um, but um, I decided that I had always intended to give this away to my mother, and it makes me uh, happier to know that I can give it to somebody. So uh, listen for that at the end of the video. All right. So let's get started. I'm going to start with um, my whips. I worked quite a bit on Turtle. It's a DMC free pattern. I got, I, I'm just showing you briefly. Um, it is free, but you know, uh, I got all of the all of this color up here done. Let me see if I can make sure. I know that it was dropping below the camera last week. All of this right here uh, done. And I just have this orangey red color to put in here. And um, then I can start on the greens and blues of the actual turtle. And it's actually coming along quite nicely. Um, I'm really happy with it. And then I worked some more on cute boots, put some more of the top of his head on. And this is a pattern by X's and O's. And uh, I just I just love it. My fabric doesn't look as stormy as this fabric, but I think it'll come out looking cute. So I'm real pleased with that um, progress. And then uh, this is another free uh, pattern from DMC called Black Whale, an orca. It's actually um, two whales. And I have gotten quite a bit done on this. So um, you can't really see the white, but it's there. It's it's a white and gray up here and it's going to be white and gray you know in this part the gray when I say gray it's not really gray <laughs> it's kind of 
just barely barely not white but with a black tinge not blue or you know something else and um, I think it's gonna be quite lovely so uh, I, and I haven't decided if I'm gonna put the other whale on or not um, I'm still thinking about that. and then I work some more on sorry I have these in the wrong order on um, tomato seeds by stitching with the housewives I think uh, last time I tried to show you my progress and it dropped below so before I had just a little bit of this and I finished these tomatoes and then yesterday well this week I finished the greens in here and down in here and there is a little bit of the lighter color put in there already the off-white it's called bamboo in uh, classic color works or whatever the thing they use I'm sorry I don't remember but um, the uh, I use the DMC uh, conversion of it and it is just invisible so on her um, designs and I know she designs them on a chalkboard and they're always black behind but I like color and um, I think that I mean I can see it up close but you don't want to view it like this you know you <laughs> you need to be able to see this stuff uh, far behind so when I'm done I'm gonna decide how to make that pop out a little bit more um, if you saw my uh, peep I outlined it in a little bit of purple um, the cup which was the same color because I I did peep on a, on a lilac background and um, I did uh, Easter delivery. Um, Peep was also by Stitching with the Housewives, and Easter delivery was Shannon Christine Designs. Um, I, I, I showed you that FFO, and I outlined um, that one with um, a little bit of purple, I believe, but it might have been, no, it was purple. And it, for the same reason, the the they had done their uh, version on a like a coffee dyed or something like that a brownish fabric and I put it on pink <laughs> and oddly enough I'm not really a pastel person except for teal I love this teal color. but um, I dyed this fabric and the other two fabrics I was talking about so I mean, that's coming along and then I have a finish. I finished a candy heart chart by Fat Quarter Shop. I didn't do the fifth candy heart because the fabric I had wouldn't accommodate a fifth heart. But now I have to finish it. So that's my finish. And I have. A new start. I started, I couldn't wait any longer. I started on uh, Strawberry Cow by Tiny Martinist. I just love the little bird on the cow's back. And um, I, I, I have quite a bit of fabric around the border. I'm, I'm doing the border first to, <laughs> you know, to make sure everything lines up and then I'll I'll go inside but um, I was thinking about I'm already thinking about finishing they have um, they have this blue um, behind it and you know because I'm using blue fabric um, uh, I dyed this fabric for it the same time I dyed the fabric for cute boots and um, I kind of like the way it looks with this little, um, let's see my fingers, with this little trim. 
but of course since I'm using blue fabric um, I don't know that I'd want to use a blue trim but then they have it on a spotted cloth and that's also really cute I saw some I saw some wood pieces like not exactly this but kind of like this at uh, Walmart and I almost bought it for this, but I'm going to wait until I finish it and uh, and see how I want to fully finish it. But I kind of like that finish. Uh, maybe. So, <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's my new start. And I um, joined uh, the Facebook group um, Cross Stitching for Fun. Uh, they're the... The, the ones that designed um, the patterns I showed you last week and uh, when I joined uh, they had some free uh, patterns that you could get and I love snowmen and I saw this isn't that cute um, they're Harry Potter snowmen <laughs> and I'm forcing myself not to start on them uh, I love snowmen, but I have, that's why I've done so much work on these other things that I haven't picked up in ever, um, because I, uh, I don't want to start on something new, and this is four new things, not just one. Um, I don't want to start on something new while I have all these balls in the air, um, because I really like all these other patterns too, and I don't want to set something down and never go back and look at it. And I have, uh, a gnome Halloween gnome pattern that I want to get started again in June or July uh, to try to finish it by uh, by Halloween and I have a DMC pattern called Halloween cats that I also Halloween cat sorry that I also would like to finish um, by Halloween uh, and when I say by Halloween I mean early in October so These are small. They use Krynic braid for um, at the end of the wand. I don't know if you can see, maybe not on that one, but here, the little sparkles coming off the wand. And uh, I have it in a cart, but if I buy it, I'm going to want to start on it right away. So I don't know about that. And then. I have uh, some Etsy updates, um, Notions pouch with llama on it, see the cute little llama, little cactuses and teepees, and vinyl front bag, and they have this I had to clean out Michael's of their little llama charms, but it was necessary uh, because I also had to make another one of these. Sorry, can't see it. A llama project bag because the one that I made and put up on Etsy last week uh, sold in a few hours. So. Um, that one is already up on Etsy, and so is the final front bag. And while I was uh, going through Etsy to check on some things, I was like, where's that bag that I made? I saw the regular, I, I say regular because that's the one I started doing, um, project bags, and I didn't see the vinyl front version. And it, I realized that when I made this was right when I was getting sick and or right before I got sick I don't know but I never got it up on Etsy I hadn't even put a charm on but I put a charm on there today okay if I can get it to hold still there you go little snowman this fabric has a slight sparkle to it I don't know if you can see it in the pictures 
and the background fabric, the white inside, also has a sparkle to it. So I haven't put this on Etsy yet. Um, I will, uh, as I have. I haven't taken the pictures because I just now put the put the. Um, sorry, moving things around. Um, I just now put the charm on it. So I'll take pictures and, and put it up. And uh, one other thing before my haul, and I don't have a whole lot of haul. Um, I stitched this a year ago. Um, it was going to be, a it, it's a design that I have on Etsy already called Mayflowers. This is the actual uh, design now. It's slightly changed from the first one. And, and as I said, this is up on Etsy. You can get this. Um, and I, I was very happy with the way this came out. But um, I decided to make the centers a little bit more visible. And I changed the color on the inner pink here just to make it pop a little bit more. But um, I wouldn't have redesigned it or restitched it except when I went to put the words on uh, May Flowers, it, it uh, wouldn't show up on this fabric. And I kept kept it and I kept saying well, I could take that out and use that fabric for something else I could take that out and I finally decided you know what I don't want to I'm gonna fully finish this and uh, see how it comes out because I, I made this not not exactly for Mother's Day if you've looked at my patterns these little patterns I have quite a few of these little patterns they make up pretty quickly they're they're small and and uh, m most of them use very, th very few threads. Um, this one actually uses more threads than the others, than many of the others. But um, I made a duck in the rain with uh, baby ducks uh, called April Showers. So rather than a Mother's Day pattern, I put May Flowers. So, but you could make that for Mother's Day. And you could finish it on a basket. <laughs> so uh, I also, because we're doing that internment for my mom, uh, we're giving, the pastor doesn't want any money. So we're making him some stuff that we can include in a little basket for him. And I um, made an arrowhead uh, keychain for him. Um, and I made some scissor fobs out of the remaining keychains, uh, re remaining arrowheads. These are scissor fobs. Let me see if I can get it to hold still. Little copper one with little copper beads. They're actually glass beads, but they look like copper. It looks really, really nice with that. And then um, this heart-shaped um, lobster claw on top. And it opens pretty far, so you shouldn't have any issues getting your scissors on there. And um, so there's the copper one. The bronze one is the only one that doesn't use the copper colored beads. It uses a bronze colored bead. And it has the matching color at top. And this one is a nickel looking one here. Oops, that's backwards. There we go. And it has the copper beads. And it has the nickel top to it. So those aren't on the Etsy site yet. Uh, again, I'm working with the photos on that. And then last night, my sister was here. Uh, we were filming our, um, our video. And she gave me these. I, they look like they'd be great for a scissor fob, but I'm afraid if you dropped it, they would break. So I have to think about it. And then these, which look like Roman coins or something, they're really cute. So I'm going to have to find a project for those. And... Uh, 
I had to get more llama charms and I just ordered them online from um, from Michaels but I wanted to make up ten dollars because um, I had a ten dollar voucher so I did it twice because <laughs> I ordered them from one store and then I had to order more from another store this is the only one that's still on the card I have actually one more llama bag to go and then I knew I was going to be making the more of the purple bags and they have this charm on them now I only found one so I'm gonna to have to look for it at another store but to make up uh, to get to ten dollars like I said I bought more llama charms the tent but technically I guess it was twenty dollars uh, but it was ten dollars two different places I got these um, clocks and these they're pendants with an they're huge I know but um, I have an idea for these so and then I bought you'll see in some other fabric um, I bought some floral prints and so I bought some floral charms it's yellow blue and pink if you can't see that and a flip-flop so um, I'll show you my fabric last um, my sister made some uh, glass uh, letter tile um, uh, needle minders which I love and we've sold quite a few of but we can't find the glass tiles with the letter on them we've, I've looked and I'm sure they're, they exist somewhere but we can't find them and so while I was looking I saw these little Scrabble tiles and so um, I went ahead and got them and some magnets Oops. some magnets and my sister not me is gonna make some more um, some more um, needle minders with those and then I found I got flannel for the project I was talking about last week and I bought this fabric before I made a vinyl uh, bag for myself out of it but I just love those turtles and so I'm going to make another one not for myself for the Etsy site and I picked up this floral print is that right set up yeah this floral print which is quite beautiful and I'm going to pair that with this purple and I found these flamingos I like them they kind of go every which way which is great because I don't have to worry about which end is up but of course I do on the background fabric because it's got a kind of a grain on it a look of a one-way pattern so that means I have to use more fabric to make it but oh well and then this fabric with flowers and butterflies I thought was quite beautiful um, and I have a butterfly charm but it would also go go good with the um, with the floral charms so and with that and I you probably can't see this subtle pattern but that's going to be paired with this and that is all my haul but I did want to mention my flowers so I'm building my arrangement and this week I made I don't think they'll come out <laughs> no. eucalyptus 
and I want to make a whole bunch of these. I, I love the way these leaf um, stems came out. And I haven't like worked with them to make the leaves go, you know, how I want them to go or anything like that. I just stuck it in the vase because I was working on other things. So I'm going to make more of these. It was quick and it was fun. I might make one more eucalyptus, I don't know. But my plans are to make at least one more of the, of the big flower, the uh, peony. Uh, sorry, the peony, I, I, I think one more, and I really like the poppies, so I'm going to make a few more of those, and then um, a couple more of the cherry blossoms. Um, my uh, sister's sister-in-law uh, really likes cherry blossoms, so I might make some for her too, so... Um, that's all of the update I have, uh, so I want to talk about the bag. Um, as I said, I'm really thinking about my mom, and uh, she would have absolutely loved this pattern. Um, the Notions pouch has the purple inside, and... Um, The cute little, oh goodness, the cute little teapot charm. Um, when I was young, she gave me a china teapot set that was like little, like that. And that's why I bought this charm. It reminded me of her. And um, I have so many wonderful, good memories of my mom. And here's the inside of the bag. It's got that purple inside. And... Uh, Anyway, I'm giving away one set of this, and the way that you can enter to get that is comment on my video, please be a subscriber, like the video, and um, tell me memories of your mom. Don't say I want the bag, don't say, none of that. Just give me some memories of your mom, and I'll be entering you to win the bag. Okay, and I'll uh, do that next week. And it'll help me to know that that someone else can enjoy this. And, you know, you may even give it to your mom. I don't know. But um, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for listening, and I look forward to your memories of your mother. Thanks.